What's going on, guys? I'm Mariah Elise, and of course, I'm here to talk to you guys about what's going on in our art world, in the art market, and who's making moves. And most recently, I've been telling you guys a little key into my life. I'm actually going to a Friends of Mine exhibition right after I record this video, so if you stick around to the end, I'll give you guys a peek of that show. Also guys, make sure to click that like button, but honestly, just watch the video until the end. That's what really helps. And if you're into it afterwards, subscribe and keep vibing with me. But for today, I wanted to update you guys on an artist that I mentioned to you in a video that I did a while ago. It was about artists Phillips wanted us to watch, artists they wanted us to keep an eye on. And I must say, they were right. I had a great feeling this guy's career would continue to go well, and it definitely is. Today, we're talking about Tunji Adenaye Jones. If you watch his channel consistently, you've definitely seen his work before. And if you keep an eye out for all of the emerging artists or a good group of emerging artists, you've definitely seen him in articles, exhibitions, and so on. But most recently, he made a really big move, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Let's dive in. All right, guys, so this morning I was on RC.com and I ran across an article giving a market brief on Andenai Jones. I thought it was interesting because we've talked about him before, so I thought you guys deserve to hear how his career is going. I don't know that I was surprised to hear this news, but I do know that I was definitely, definitely excited. Very recently, and I mean like last week recently, White Cube Gallery announced its representation of the new emerging artist, which happened to be Tunji Adenai Jones. Definitely slide on over to their website and check out out. They represent artists such as a favorite, the Astrogates, David Hammond, and a few more familiar names like Damien Hirst, Tracy Emmons, and Chuck Close. Now, I've said this before, Adonai Jones has been something to watch for some time. For me in particular, it's special because his ability to create this malleability between figures, allowing them to be easy with one another, even in their contrast. And more than that, the mythology is strongly felt and executed. Have a gallery like White Cube represent you as an artist, especially if they do well by you, which I think and I hope that they will. Phillips Auction House told us to look out for his work. I told you guys, and now it has definitely come to light. First appearing in auction in December 2020. This piece is sold for an insane amount of $163,800, more than eight times the work's high estimate. Now, trust me, I 100% understand how artists get when their early works go to auction. But I've told you guys before, it doesn't always have to be so bad. Now, I do know that I've talked to you guys about protecting the artists on a primary market so you can protect them on a secondary market. But look what's happening here. He went to auction early. His early works went to auction and now White Cube is taking him on to hopefully protect his primary market to secure what we already know is happening on the secondary market. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments if you feel differently about it, but the market has changed and it's changing. And if we continue to look at it and receive it the way that it used to be, we won't have the ability to move with it. Now, just a side note, what has always been super interesting to me is the mountains you have to climb as an artist before you're considered to be past what we consider emerging. He has blue chip gallery representation. He sold an auction for incredible amounts. So I'm curious to know when we're gonna take the emergent stamp off of his name. Now, I do think that it is beneficial to keep his career labeled as emerging because what that could mean is you might still have chance to collect his work now keep in mind i'm talking to someone who has a good upper level of five to six thousand i'm sorry from five to six figures to spend <laughs> um but if you do you still have a chance to get it and if you're just finding out about tunji and adonai jones you're still considered to be early and an early adapter in knowing who he is and following his work. I urge you guys to follow him on Artsy, to follow him on Instagram, follow him wherever you can. Keep up with his career and just watch it go up from here. Hopefully White Cube has a really good grasp on who he is as an artist and understands his goals and his missions and the team that they put behind him, hopefully they, hopefully they help him and push him in achieving those goals. Now guys, as promised, I'm about to mask up go have a drink at the bar and head to my friend Tuck's exhibitions. The exhibition is titled, I Found Myself in Houston. If you guys don't know, I live in Houston. So he has brought this exhibition down from Dallas to Houston. He actually lives in Los Angeles right now, but he's from Texas. So I guess he decided to do this in Texas. I'm really excited to see this exhibition. If you guys stick around, I'm gonna give you guys a little footage. Come to live with me. 
and give them a follow on Instagram. Now, guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'm telling y'all to follow everyone else. Follow me on Instagram. It's at Mariah Elise with two E's at the end. My company, Elise Art Group, also has an Instagram, which is Elise Art Group on Instagram. As I talked about in my last video, guys, if you're interested in what I can help you do within your career, go to EliseArtGroup.com and schedule a consultation with me. I'll be more than happy to talk to you guys. As always, peace, love, light to you guys. Y'all be safe in these streets. I love you. Thank you guys for rocking with me today and rocking with me always. Again, hit that subscribe button if you vibe with me. Love you guys. I'm out.